In 2016, I was made aware that Kawasaki had a break, you know, a breaking, a breaking system. In 2017, I got the patents and I published them. And I published those patents on purpose. First, they're public knowledge. And so anyone can access them and go online and find them. I published them on purpose because, frankly, I, Kevin Shaw, with what little power I have, what little power I wield, wanted to force Kawasaki into making the break sooner. I wanted the break to happen sooner. And I never relented. I kept publishing. And I kept, I mean, I think we got six articles where I published those break schematics saying they've got it, they've got it, and I don't know why they won't do anything with it. Where the hell is the ski with the brakes? I don't care if it was a foot pedal brake. Thumb, okay, fine. Left hand, even better. Foot pedal, I don't care. If it was a mouth guard on a string that you had to yank back, at least it was a brake. I wanted them to get a brake. I was begging Callie to get a break. I'm like, guys. And the last Ultra that I had was I had a burnt orange one. It was a 310X SE, the special edition, which is only available in the States. Couldn't get it in Canada. Couldn't get it in Australia. Couldn't get it in UK. And, I mean, I loved the color of it. I love that that real rich burnt orange it had a really beautiful metallic on it, and I took my kids everywhere. All um, my, my kids absolutely loved that ski, and I took my oldest to her second mud bug on that ski. That burnt that that se that that se. If it had a break, that would have been the ski. I, my wife would have wanted to divorce me because I, I would have I would have put money down on it. I think there's a lot of people out there. I think a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys, bleed Cowie green, but Kawasaki doesn't make the ski you want, and so you go. Well, I guess I got to get a Yamaha, or I guess I got to get a Sea Dew. Because the brand you want to support, the brand you want to be affiliated with, simply doesn't make the ski. Whether that's a two a supercharged two seater, whether that's a naturally aspirated, fully loaded cruiser, whether that is a tow sports vehicle, whether that's a fishing ve vehicle. Cowie doesn't necessarily have it. And a lot of you guys and a lot of people in the market are like, damn, they don't have it? They don't have one? No, sorry. They don't make anything to fight the GP or the RXPX. Well, I guess I'm going to get a GP or I guess I'm going to get an RXPX. Or I guess I'm going to get an FXHO cruiser. Or I'm going to get a GTX 170. And that's kind of what happens. Um, and I've had that conversation. I mean, with the right people, too. I'm not talking to just like, you know, the marketing agency. I'm talking to the right people. And they kind of nod their heads and they go, yeah, yeah, we heard. Yeah, we know. But I wonder why they don't act on it. I don't have an answer. I really don't. Um, I wish I did. But... Boy. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, Thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.